Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's play a little game of parent pal foe. But it's, first, it's an alteration on on an, on another. On what game. game? What game? On the what? What is it? The FMK game. What does that stand for? <laughs> oh, let's check our voicemail. Oh, I love our voicemails. Did you know that my right thumb looks like a big toe? No. Is there more? <laughs> but thanks for it's, I mean, it's one of those using things. this medium of audio only yeah. to tell us about it, so we not we're not afraid that we'd actually see it. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> when I see them in public, I'm gonna be like, oh, I remember that voicemail. Does my thumb look like a big toe? I think my big toe looks like a thumb, but I don't think my thumb looks oh, like a big toe. Which you know would you rather have? Well, I have long toes. You know who has notorious uh, toe, toe thumbs? Who? was actually on this show at one point, and I didn't even know about it, and so I didn't even look at him at the time. Who? Megan You Fox. brought it up. Oh, oh I Megan thought you were Fox. backing out of saying the name. All right, so we've got our I first I didn't talk about it while she was here. on the show. No! Oh, my gosh. That would have been a nightmare. How so, embarrassing. So your thumb. So here, uh, <laughs> okay. We got Tony the Tigra. We've got Mr. Peanut Man. And we've got uh, Kool-Aid Man. Tony the Tiger, you get you. What are you reading there? You got some information well, before cool, we decide. The you know, Kool Aid Man came around uh, in 1974. Did you know that? Just so, a, he's just a little bit older than us at 47. Yeah, so he could be he could be like a um, any like a parent who's only who had us at four years old. Uh, he he breaks into be. things, but he seems like he's always up for a good time, right? Mister Peanut always scared me a little bit. I would like to nurse a peanut though, like. It's a wee little baby who has a parent that's a peanut. Can I nurse Mr. Oh, peanut? Yeah, get... you're the baby nursing the peanut. Yeah, that's you're, how I figure out if I want it to be a parent. You you want to suck, nurse suck on it and see. I I I understand the so, logic. So I feel like, well, you'd be a good parental figure. He also has um, a monocle, which is ages him a bit. I know? think that Tony feels like a good dad. He's always a loving dad. But there's a there's a danger element, which is nice. There's a danger element with this guy, with the freaking monocle. It, oh, you mean if you're allergic to peanuts? You want to be well that especially, but if you're, you, I mean, listen, what's, you, what's you dangerous about a monocle? He, this guy, he's a tap dancer. He's got a cane and a hat and a monocle. I, a tap I, I don't know what. I've, I've Just because you have a cane, and I've a top never hat doesn't make you a top, met tap, a tap dancer. dancer that I trust. He's not a tap dancer. Never met a tap dancer that I trust. And a clogger, whoa, don't even get me started. And then those people My wife is a clogger. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) People who do river dancing. Avid clogger. And then I like having a friend who can just bust in and get the party started. I mean, but you gotta choose, I don't know, I think this guy's the enemy because he's easy to hate because of all the property damage. Yeah, that's true. It's like, God, like, leave us alone, sorry, man. Sorry about my friend. Every time you come in here, there's like days of repair. And you just, you're just in and out. We should do a whole. And always inebriated. We should do a whole, like, little sketch about the guy who has to clean up after the Tony's, Kool-Aid man. T- we should. Yeah. Tony's my boy. Tony, he's on a cereal box, man. I just want to be friends with anybody who's cereal famous. You want to be friends with my dad? That's a little awkward, but cool. I mean, you want to come over? Are you coming over to hang out with me or my dad? I don't know. Well, I mean, why are you fighting the person I'm suckling? <laughs> really, the interesting part of this is... Hey, the, I'm nursing here. Stop fighting. The relationships that the, the relationship awkwardness that it created between the two of us. Like, you're friends with my dad. I'm really, I really hate your parents that you're, that you're constantly suckling on. And then my best friend is your enemy. Mortal enemy. Like, I mean, this, we've just ruined our relationship. Yeah, we have. All right, let's move on to three more. All right, so I'm taking the blues. Taking the blues back. You're taking the red. So now we've got the Morton Salt Girl. What you want? Oh, and I, I need my punishment, right? I have to oh, be in your oh, buns. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're supposed to. They're sorry. reminding us. You're that supposed to spend this entire good mythical more in between my buns. And it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to happen. Link, um, these are my buns. And if you could just uh, put this on yourself. Just put this on. Yeah, put it on. Put this on, he said. Put it on, and then I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a... Uh... Uh, how does this happen? Okay. 
So here I go. Look at me. Look, it's Tim Robinson. Hey, you put this over. What is that's just so you know, those are my buns. I own you. So I, okay. I'm just trying to give the fan fiction writers a little. So I'm the wiener today. I'm the wiener here. Yeah. In between your buns. I want to make it easier. You're the buns here. Easier for y'all to make connections here. So the Morton Salt girl, 107 years old. Uh, you want to bring her out? Oh, here she is. And uh, Captain Crunch. Very now, nice. ha, so is she's she's 107? 107. Wonder what that milk tastes like. It's probably it's probably dried up. It's probably dried up. Captain Crunch, he's probably got milk you can just have that's not from him. Oh, just like milk we that he has access. See, to. we got some more cereal fame here. And Chef Boyard D is a Libra. <laughs> uh, you know. So am I. I don't know if you should have a parent. That's this thing. Let me put this down here because it. Uh, so again, if I'm gonna, I mean, if I'm gonna nurse somebody, it's gonna be this salty gal right here. Is it, I just, is, she looks like a girl, but she's 107 years old. I'm not going with the nursing thing. How else do you decide who you want your parent to be? Just like who I want to like raise me and like help me navigate through life. And by the way, that oh, is, it could be my dad too. That is the Morton Salt girl. I mean, for me, I oh really? Captain Crunch. Don't call her a girl. She's 107. Never trusted. Captain Crunch, still don't. He's wily, but this guy be, Chef Boyardee would be a nice parent, right? He looks like he's got a dark side though. You know, like he's. He looks like he might have some weird ideology. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bad ideas. Like he's like, uh, yeah, he's like part, like, of, he's like part of the intellectual he's a great, dark web or he's something. He's a great cook, but. I agree with that. I'm gonna make him my foe. I, I agree too. I think he would be a great villain in so a, a Bond good. movie. This has gotten really complicated for me because now I'm friends with the Morton Salt girl. I'm and nursing. now my dad is Captain Crunch and I don't trust him. You know, I'm I'm realizing that as I do more strenuous workouts and bike riding routines, I need more salt in my system. And she's gonna help with that. Because I'm a, I'm gonna nurse before and after all of my you bike riding. You think she's got salty milk? Yeah, definitely. And then This has gotten weird. Again, I this wanna be really I weird. wanna be I have a friend who's serial famous. Me and Tony. But and the Kat thing we agree out. on is that we both, we both have casted a lot of aspersion onto uh, Chef Boyardee and his like his his motivations. Yeah. What's what's hiding in his ravioli? Yeah, you know what wow. I'm saying? I think totally differently about Chef Boyardee now. It's like, oh man, he's got some bad ideas. All right. So here's your red ones again. Okay. And I'll take my blue ones. And let's go in for another. Now we're moving on to Little Debbie. Yes. She's 61. She's probably still making milk. Um, Ronald McDonald, he's 58. Ronald McDonald got work in the prayer hands. And uh, the Coca-Cola polar bears. We don't, you know, we don't talk enough about the Coca-Cola polar bears. You know, they don't get, they don't get the year-round attention that they deserve. Well. Right Especially the, with their 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 environment shrinking rapidly. Well, right off the bat, I feel what? bad about the polar bears. I feel bad what's happening to their environment, but they will eat you as soon as they see you. Like they will stalk you for days. I mean, they are st like one of the most bloodthirsty creatures on the planet. You know how to short circuit that? I think they should that? be protected, but give them some coke. Do you know how to short circuit that? Just run up and nurse one of them. <laughs> and get the coke out. <laughs> yeah, get the coke right out of there. It's better than a fountain. What part do you suck on? The teat, Brett. Oh, okay. The animal teat. I didn't know that coke came out of that. Uh, I definitely we... want little Debbie to be my parent. Why right? is that? Well, because I just think of Nurturing. her as I'm not going to nurse her because that's weird, and that's not what that's not my criteria for evaluating some somebody being my mom. But I'm just thinking she seems like a nurturer. And she seems like she's gonna give you a lot of sweet stuff. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna pinch your cheeks and give you sugar. I, I like that. I need some help in making my decision, and there's one person that I think could be very helpful in making a decision. If we could just summon that being. Yeah, it's not easy to do, but we do yeah. have a way to do it. Yeah. I, do we have to hold hands? I can't, something told me that we should hold hands. Giant Deborah, hear our call. 
You are big and we are small. We hunger for your oatmeal treat. Cream pie is all we want to eat. We pledge our loyalty for all you do. Giant Debra, please come through. It worked. Yes, there she is. She's giant. Hey, Debra. She's Debra. She's right here looking at us. Mostly me, but a little bit you too. She's touching us. Okay. Hey, GD. Why have I been summoned? Well, he did uh, it. We're sitting here and we're trying to figure out who we should voices. nurse. I mean, I, 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 I did it with him, but it's really about a problem he's having. So Rhett is saying that he would like for little Debbie to be his parent. And I'm stuck, I'm stuck between little Debbie being my friend or my enemy because Ronald McDonald seems like a good candidate for an enemy. Um, and she's 71 years old, and I just don't want to nurse her. 61. She's still, she, she's still making a little bit of milk, but you're going to have to suck real hard. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even going with that. So is she a friend or an enemy? I think all Debras are good at being a parent, but we... we, we oh, you have kids? I think everyone that I uh, help satiate with my treats are my children. Oh, really? Are yeah. you still making milk? I never stopped, yeah. <laughs> right? Never stopped. I haven't slowed down yet. Like, would I mean, I'm sorry you're not on here. Would you like to be, I mean, would you like to be our enemy, friend, or parent? It seems that you think of us as your children. None of these, none of these mascots exist in, uh, in my universe. I've eradicated all of them. Okay, so, so what's your personal take on Little Debbie? Little Debbie is uh, weak. Okay, all right. That but sounds like a good foe for me, someone that I can defeat in, in an instant. Yeah. I don't want to plant any imagery of me fighting little Debbie, but she is 71 years old. Right. Six, that didn't help. 61. Oh, still didn't help. And I'm going to be friends with Ronald McDonald because he's got access to all the burgers. I don't know how I ended up being friends with him, too, but I am. <laughs> hey, we can all three hang out. Yeah. What well, are you doing later? Later? Yeah. I'm going back to my... My universe. Okay. You well, can come it's if you'd like. It, I'm sorry. Do we waste your time? You usually do, yes. Oh, yes. okay. It, it, it wasn't my idea. All right. Well, don't let us here, keep though. you. Well, let you us can hang you. out with us and Ronald. No, thank you. Right. Very serious, that giant yeah, devil. Yeah, I feel like you. Very serious. Sort of made a man. All right, we're not done here, guys. Um, we got another one we're going to throw up here. And check this out, Rhett. Oh, a coloring I want to remind you guys, we have a mythical coloring book. There it is. There it is. Uh, we teamed up with our friends at Fantoons to bring you an illustrated coloring book for adults of all ages. This thing is fun to color. Get it at mythical.com. Uh, if you already got one, get another one because uh, you, should, you, should, you should make it different with different colors. Or give it to somebody else. Mythical.com. Lots of cool stuff in here. Great illustration. Endless bringing it to the fun. world of mythicality. I'm really sucky at showing you pages. Yeah, but you got to work on that. It's got pages. Chester Cheetah. Chester Cheetah. He's 35. He's in his prime. Okay. Uh, the Raisin Brand Sun. Okay. 55 years old. Okay. And then the Green M&M. He's 24. Okay. All so right. He's 24. So we got an enemy, we've got a friend, and we've got a parent. Remember that? Chester Cheetah, I would not want him to. I would not want him to be my enemy. I want him to be my friend. But he would be a cool dad, because he's always showing up with his with his sunglasses on, smelling like cheese dust. Yeah, I feel like the Raisin Brand. He's son, like a loser dad that your your friends think is cool. I feel like the Raisin Brand son, as a dad, would just be too distant. You know. Yeah, he's. Literally, like, millions of miles away. He, and he's spending all his time just drying up grapes. Does he... But does he get closer when he puts the grapes inside of the cereal? I think... I or think, do you go to him? Yeah, I feel like he's... It's a complicated animal. relationship. I don't want him to be my friend or my dad, so I'm right. going to make him my foe. That's what I was thinking, too. And you're going to be sucking on that green m and M, which that... <laughs> listen, this is the first time where I've thought that sucking on one of them makes sense. Now, I'm telling you right now, I like your boots, gal. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I like your boots. I like your boots. You suck, you suck on a green M&M, &M and it just becomes a brown M&M. &M. Pretty I think, fast, actually. I think we're just 
I think we're friends. You know, it's like this is, this is this is plutonic. Plutonic. What? <laughs> what? Plutonic. How about, how about platonic? Platonic. Yeah, you said plutonic. Yeah, plutonic. Plato. Oh, it's like Plato. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought it was like the. You think it's like the planet? planet? It's like me and you are like. <laughs> This is a plutonic relationship. I don't even know how to define it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I set you up for that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. I get partial credit for a good joke. Uh, okay. The setup portion. There we go. I mean, I think... Platonic. platonic. No, it's not play. It's just pla. Platonic. All right, so um, I'm friends with your... With my mom. With your very young mom. Hey, well, I mean... And finally, Pillsbury Doughman, how old is he? He's uh, 56. Wow. That's uh, kind of crazy to think that. Wendy. Like, we're in the, like, the same peer group with the Doughboy. And then tricks are for kids. Like, we could be, f everybody that we're friends with in Los Angeles is about 10 to 15 years older than us because they all have kids that are our age because we started early. So it's just like, I feel like the Doughboy is like, we're, we're, is it the barbecue with us? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But our work friends are all younger than us. They're like our children. They keep us young, but not that young. Yeah. Wendy, she's 52. She's in the, she's in our friend group. Okay. And Trix Rabbit, 62. We'll let him in, too. I mean, why not? I just think that Trix, the rabbit, as a parent, it's just, you know, I would just, my anxiety would be through the roof constantly. It's like, what, what kind of energy is he going to show up with? Always extra. You know? I just don't, I can't make him a parent. Now this dough guy, he's parental material. But you don't suck him, you poke him. Right, he's my dad. <laughs> you just sit around poking him? And but he, everybody else is poking. He laughs on command. I want my foe to have something that is that annoying of a trait. I don't want my friend or my dad to be somebody that is constantly getting poked by strangers just so he makes noises. I kinda like it. I like a sense of control. You, you, I think I would get tired of that. Well, then don't poke him. But what about everybody else who's poking him? Is what I'm saying. Be like, hey, don't poke my foe or my, my <laughs> friend, my parent. <laughs> what? What? Don't poke I'm, my dad. I'm gonna go through all three of them. Don't poke my dad. Um, I don't like this guy. He he's full of tricks. Uh, I, that's not. He's I, a deceiver. I, I you got good reasoning there. I made Wendy my parent. Um. Because I mean, she's she's serving up some frosties and burgers. I don't. But that, listen, I don't. I think she's just the mascot. She may not even know how to make a burger, and it's a little presumptuous just to assume that just because she's your mom, she's just making food for you all the time. I think she's my friend because I can see that like she wants to break out from whatever everybody's idea of who she is, and she wants someone who really gets to know her as a person, as an individual. So and she's I a think, real person. I think Wendy and I could just be real with each other. And we could, you know, we could we could cry on each other's shoulders. We could, um, we could, we could go to a museum together. Purely platonic. Yeah, it's a totally platonic relationship. Uh, but yeah, I think I think there's lots of connection there. We're both known for one thing, but we're so much more. What one thing are you known for? This. <laughs> this. Well, I'm going to be uh, best friends with your enemy, and we'll see how that works out. Color your little heart out with the Mythical Coloring Book, available now at mythical.com.